One last ride for Paul Walker. Seven, directed by Jay Zwan, the man who directed Conjuring and Insidious. This movie takes up right where Fast and Furious 6 and Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift left off. In this movie, we find out that Jason Statham's character, Deggard Shaw, wants to get revenge for what happened in Fast and Furious 6 when Dominic Toretto and his team took down Luke Evans' character since that was his brother. So he goes to Tokyo, Japan, once he finds out who is on the team. He kills Han, and then he comes back to America to go after Dominic Toretto, Vin Diesel's character, and, and the rest of his family. <laughs> and this is a very good movie. I really did like this movie. If you're going for something that's realistic, you're, you've come to the wrong place. This is not realistic. It's not meant to be realistic. This is Fast and Furious. <laughs> it's meant to be fun. You're here to see great stunts, awesome action, some hot women, and some really cool fights. And that's what you get with this movie. And it's pretty awesome, I think. Jason Statham makes an awesome villain. I really did like him in the movie. and. Vin Diesel is fantastic as this character, Dominic Toretto. He was really great in this movie. Paul Walker, he was really good at, as Brian O'Connell. I'm pretty sad to, to know that he died d during production and that this is the last movie we'll see with his character in. Terry Skipson and Ludacris, they did a pretty good job as well. Georgina Brewster was pretty good for what little time she had in the movie. Michelle Rodriguez, she's great in the film. Uh, Dwayne Johnson, he's not in the movie as much as you would like him to be, but he's good when you see him. <laughs> and then you have Kurt Russell. What the heck is he doing in this movie? He plays the CIA agent who sends Dominic's team after this hacker named Ramsey, and then they have to go after this piece of technology called the, the God's Eye, which is this tracking system that they can find anybody by hacking into all the security cameras across the country and cell phones, internet connections, which is pretty scary if you think about it. <laughs> this tech is supposed to help Dominic find Deckard, but Dominic doesn't need this technology because everywhere he goes, Deckard is not too far behind, so it's kind of useless to, to have it. <laughs> I don't even know why Dimajun Hinoso is in this movie. He's kind of a useless character as well. You know, he makes a pretty cool bad guy. Or the bad guy that ends up fighting against Paul Walker, for that matter. But it was, it's pretty cool to see Paul Walker fight against somebody anyway. And Ronda Rousey gets like one scene in the movie to fight against Michelle Rodriguez. <laughs> But I did like this movie. It was a pretty good movie, even though the plot is very convoluted and gets very far-fetched. You have to really suspend disbelief as to wonder how people can survive when you're parachuting cars, when two cars hit and there's no airbags. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and yeah, the acting is not that great from, from everybody. I mean. Vin Diesel and Paul Walker and Jason Statham are great actors. Dwayne Johnson's pretty good, but Tyrese is not that great of an actor. <laughs> but it's still a good movie. I'm going to give this movie a B. Definitely check this movie out.